Are you trying to load into Rust and getting these bogus crashes and errors? Well, this video might help. I do also have two videos that will fix these two specific problems. So if you're here looking to try to fix these, I will put the links to these in the description. Definitely go check those out because those also might help your problem here. So pro tip before doing this, what I would recommend doing is closing your game and then closing Steam. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be navigating to our Steam. Uh, it is also helpful to run Rust through Steam rather than like your desktop icon. And this first little fix is probably going to help most of you here. Uh, most of the people that have navigated to this video, this is probably going to help you pretty quick. So I would also suggest running the game after doing this. We're going to be going to properties, going to local files and verify integrity of game files. Now this is going to take a little bit and if any problems uh, occur, like if something needs to be re-downloaded, if something's missing, um, that's what this is going to take care of. Whenever this is done, you're just going to hit close or X out of it. And if it says files failed to validate, it's going to download those for you and you're going to see your Rust doing like a small little update. It's going to take a few minutes and then when that's done, um, a majority of you should be able to load into Rust without any problems or errors. If not, it is also always helpful to check for your updates. So definitely check Windows to see if you are on the latest update. This does actually affect your gameplay. And we are also going to be checking our drivers. I'm going to make sure those are up to date. That can also be a deciding factor on if your Rust thing explodes while you're starting it up. So all we're really going to be doing here is navigating to our services and changing our easy anti-cheat startup type from manual to automatic. All you're going to need to do to navigate to that is by pressing Windows plus R. It's going to pop up with this little thing. All you're going to do is type services.msc right there. You're going to click OK and it's going to pull up this awesome little page with all kinds of doohickeys and crazy nonsense that you've probably never seen before. But don't worry about that, don't get overwhelmed. All you're going to do is click one of whichever one of these you decide to under name and then type E on your keyboard and what that's going to do is it's going to bring up um, everything that starts with E on that table. Right click on that and then we're going to go to properties. And do you see where it says startup type? Right there it says manual. We're gonna change that to automatic. And then you're gonna hit apply and okay. So we're gonna to navigate to our compatibility settings here. Um, all we're really going to be doing, if this box isn't already checked for you, all you're going to do is click the box that says run the program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. And then also you're going to go down there to that run in 640 by 480 screen resolution. You're going to click that. What that's going to do is it's going to start your game in that resolution. But whenever you actually transfer to full screen, you're going to be at whatever resolution you want. So all that's going to do is make the startup a little bit easier on your computer. And I would also recommend, um, regardless if the first part doesn't help you to run as administrator, and I would always keep that checked. And all you're gonna do is click apply and okay for that. Now, if you already have these two checked and you're experiencing these crashes and bugs and you come here and you see this and um, I'm telling you to check these boxes, if you're having these problems, it is also helpful to try to uncheck these boxes while also leaving run as administrator on. This could also fix your problem.